Hello and welcome to the third episode of 2022. I hope that the version of uh, the last episode was not too uninteresting. But I suppose this may happen more in the future if like other stores open in Estonia. It's not like, it's not like every day. But anyway, this is episode 3. And today we have quite a number of interesting things. Starting off with this gem ball or berliner or whatever or jelly donut or whatever the fuck is, these are called around all around the world and they are also baked in oil or fried to be specific and these are from a producer called Marta Bagar we have looked at other stuff from them before but not really, not a lot of it. So they, today we rectify that with a greasy ball of fruit preserve and dough. So this is what one of them looks like. Oh, my fingers are getting greasy by the second, so I'll just bite into it. I was expecting jam in this, by the way. <laughs> okay, there it is. This is apple jam. A weird, a weird option for this, because normally you would see like cherry, cranberry, lingonberry or like strawberry or raspberry jam in this. Any sort of like red berry jam is normal for this, but they've gone for apple. That's weird. Still pretty tasty though, even if it is apple. Even if it does give you like greasy hands. I would in fact recommend this, because it's a fucking jam ball, it's great. Although there are better ones out there, it's still pretty good. Like, pretty great. So yeah, I would recommend that. As the st second snack of this episode, we have another new marzipan thing from Calab. Yep, just like the Limoncello one, uh, this is actually a, an entirely new product. It has not been on color rotation before in any capacity, but it is a new marzipan thing. And these are candies, a uh, marzipan candy with uh, cocoa nibs, I think they're in, called in English, and raspberry pieces. What does the packaging say what it is? Yes, cocoa nibs, exactly, that's what it says. And just like the limoncello one, where, where, whereas the limoncello one has candies like this, this has a bar form like the limoncello bar. And they look like this. Nice and pink. One candy itself looks uh, pretty standard for a color candy, as always. And on each side, uh, the coconuts look uh, a bit bigger than they are on the packaging, and strawberry pieces uh, a bit smaller. Interesting. Okay, this is pretty good. The raspberry taste is there, but so is the coconut thing. Uh, thing. The main thing that I'm getting from this is weird. It tastes great. It tastes very raspberry but not too raspberry and the coconuts don't really contribute to the flavor actually they are there for texture it's an interesting experience I'm not a particular fan of this but I would be lying if I didn't say that this was, was not delicious it's uh, pretty darn tasty but as a, as a personal thing this is not for me however I do give this a strong recommendation because I know there are people out there who will like this, and will like this a lot. So yeah, this has my recommendation, even if I don't particularly enjoy it myself. And that's the last snack, or drink, of this episode. Well, I call it a drink, but it's a soft drink. Is this thing. This is called Barbaris. And uh, it is quite literally what it says itself to be. It's a soda made from the berry of barberries, or at least should be tasting like it. <laughs> this is a new thing from 
I'll go and um, yeah, it's fresh, it's new. Let's have some of it. Yeah, that, that. Yeah, that pour is kind of boring. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Whatever, it's tasting. This is how it looks like. Very, this sort of nice pink thing. But Paris itself doesn't really have a lot of color, I would say. But this does indeed taste terrific. It's it's pretty good. It's one of the tastiest sodas the Alagok has done since Polonia Sister, which is which which is which I reviewed way back in episode uh, season one, I think. Uh, I guess I'll put a link in for that in the description as well. But yeah, this is pretty good. I would recommend this, and for all you Americans or people who are not really from this ge uh, geographical area Barbaris is a berry but it is more more commonly used as a what would I call this in English a garden plant as for beauty purposes so you would plant this in your garden to make the garden look nicer But the berries that they do bear are ed edible and in fact very tasty. So tasty that this soda be came to be. But the soda did not co come to be directly because of the berries taste. But for the candy that was present here during Soviet era. This tastes very much like that. Yes, the candy is still being produced today and it's... And I hate it for different reasons. The candy is... It's too... There's too much of the flavor, but for this soda thing, it's perfect. Barbaris generally makes for a good cooking ingredient as well. In fact, uh, let me get you some frozen ones from my page. Okay, so the berries themselves look like this, although not frozen in nature. I use them in my uh, cooking. I generally like to put them in pound cake. They are really good there. The berries themselves are very tiny and they are in uh, bundles like this. I bet Fruit Explorer would like to get a hands on, get his hands on us some of these. But yes, the soda is in fact tasting of these berries and it is very nice indeed. So this is what Barbaris as a berry looks like. I uh, did this sort of um, berry bit because uh, some people, like Americans, don't even know what blackcurrant tastes like. They don't have many of the like really good, but uh, a bit more obscure berries that we have over here in uh, Europe, I would say. Like uh, Barbaris is the uh, current example, but uh, others would be like Seepakthorn, which I've done uh, a snack on last Xmas. Yes, that episode still needs to be uploaded. Sorry. <coughs> Seepakthorn and... Uh, What's the other one called? In Estonian it's uh, Murakkas, but I don't uh, know how to say it in English. Uh, yeah, most of people don't just don't know the English names of these berries because American Americans don't really know these berries at all. But yeah, this was Barbary soda. And this was also the last Nakov episode. I heavily recommend this as a soda. Like, you can be boring and go for a normal cola. And maybe that's what you should get if you want like caffeine in you, but uh, normally people don't drink caffeine from soft drinks over here. They just go for coffee. So if you want to uh, want some uh, new uh, soda experience, I would recommend heavily to go for this. It doesn't have caffeine, but it does have a new taste. Well, a new flavor that you haven't probably tasted. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. It's great. Thank you for watching this episode of Snack Time. 
If you wish to see more, please click on the playlist link on the screen now. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. If you wish to support my channel monetarily, please consider buying my music on Bandcamp, link also in the description.